Warning! This channel is for adults only. I do not condone any illegal activities, and everything I record is for educational purposes only. With that said, I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. This is the first episode on the Grow series for Hey Abby's Stealth Grow Box. On this episode, I'm gonna take you from germination to early veg, and I'm not gonna lie. I had a couple of major issues along the way, and I'm gonna share how I troubleshot these issues so you could learn from my mistakes. So, Hey Abby's app conveniently tells you exactly what you need to do all throughout seed to harvest. I followed their instructions and I germinated the seeds in a cup of water, but I added H2O2 and I placed it directly in the grow box. The problem was, with no light to emit heat, the temps were too low. I normally see a taproot within 24 hours when I used a cup of water, but I didn't in this case. So after 24 hours, I decided to just take measures into my own hand and I put the cup on top of a seedling heat mat. Sure enough, within 24 hours, tap roots were out. The next thing the app had me do is to place the sproutlings into this sponge cube with the head poking out. If you watch my helmet head video, you'd understand that a seed needs resistance to push that helmet off. But I followed their instructions and set up the cube. What you do is you take the sponge, you put the seeds in, heads are poking out, then you put it in this slotted cup, and then you put this slotted cup in the regular cup that's filled with about an inch of water. I prepared a juice concentrate at a one-to-one -one ratio of the silver and gold powder included, and I added this juice to prepare some water at 72 ppm and 6.26 pH. This water was placed in the cup, and the idea is to have this square sponge submerged only about a half a centimeter. Once you have the cup in the cup, place this in the hole in your reds. But now I noticed another problem. The app was telling me that my temperature was 232 degrees, which is completely wrong. 16 hours later in darkness, and the sproutlings look sorry. My light never went on. Again, just like I expected, this helmet head never went away and I had to intervene. I took a cup of water, added a square to hydrogen peroxide, then I took a dropper and I dropped a couple of drops onto the seedling heads. I'm gonna make sure they're wet so they could soften for a couple of hours. And now back to troubleshooting. I talked to customer service and we did a couple of things, but ultimately we found that I had a bad sensor. The light never turned on, so my only solution was to force the light on by leaving the door open. Now back to the sproutlings, the water worked and the shells were now soft enough to remove. I took a tweezer and I carefully removed the shells, making sure that the internal membrane of the shells were also removed to expose the yellow cotyledons underneath. They're yellow because of the lack of light As you can see, 24 hours later with the door open and the light on, casualty avoided. Two days later, and I noticed one of the sproutlings had three cotyledons, which is pretty rare. Anyhow, Hey Abby customer service was great. They overnighted a replacement sensor. So by that Monday, I had it in hand and I swapped it out. Finally, it was functioning as it's supposed to. And at this point, roots were poking out from the bottom. When you see a decent amount of roots, that's your cue to start the res. I prepared three gallons of water, added juice to let it hit 83 ppm, and I added pH down to bring it to 6.04. I poured this water in the res, and I made sure the bubbler was working. Then I removed the slotted cup, and I placed this directly into the res. Now the roots can get more oxygen and they have the freedom to grow in the res. 
now that I'm automated, I literally didn't do anything for a week. On day 12, I did some bootleg training to spread the plants apart. At this size, I bumped up the PPM to 128 and 6.12 pH. Three days later, I'm starting to notice a little browning on the leaves, which I'm certain is calcium deficiency. I added some CalMag to bring it up 30 ppm, and a week later, the older calcium spots are still there, but the deficiency is not apparent in the new growth. I'm only adding juice and water to the res to replenish the nutrients. A link to my targets are in the description. On day 22, I'm ready for my first top, which will split the main stem and give you more tops. I'm at the point that I just sterilize my thumb and I pop that top cabbage off and that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for episode number two where I take you through low stress training in veg all the way up to early bloom. If you want to get a free drying rack with the purchase of a grow box, check the link in the description. If you enjoy this video, smash that like, hit that bell and for the best tutorials on how to grow, check out my site hwgrow.com I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed